Hey, I'm Lizzie Love. I'm a holistic health coach. I am an 11 plus year vegan and I am an adult entertainer. Today I'm going to show you what I like to eat when I go on road trips. I always like to make sure I have some sort of fruit with me, whether that would be a bunch of apples or just some bananas. It's always nice to have something fresh. Uh, if you can't find food on the road, especially if you're vegan and gluten-free like I am, sometimes you can't find things where you're driving. <laughs> sometimes there's like 15 hours go by and you can't find a single restaurant. So I like to pack a lot of things and be extra ready. Um, but yeah, fruit, you can never go wrong with a little bit of fruit. <laughs> I like to cover all of the bases. So I've got some healthy sugar in the fruit. I've got some protein with these Brahmi Italian snacking lupini beans. Um, I have some salt and vinegar ones here. I like these a lot. You can just eat them as they are. I just kind of like to <laughs> chuck them in my mouth, but there are only 80 calories per package. Nine grams of protein, very few ingredients. 50% more protein than eggs, two times more fiber than edamame, 80% fewer calories than almonds, 60% fewer carbs than chickpeas. Yeah, these are great. <laughs> Super nice little pack of protein here. I also really like to have something crunchy on hand. Sometimes I get tired of things if they're all the same texture or similar texture and especially if you're on a really long road trip I recently took like a 16 plus hour road trip it's nice to have some variety <laughs> so I have some organic beet chips here these are just it's just nice to have something that's not fried something that isn't gonna drain your energy something that's gonna give you more energy when you eat it which I know I really need for a really long road trip I just really appreciate some nice crunchy snacks now this is something new that I have just recently tried on my most recent road trip. Um, I was just kind of thinking if I can't find any food for my entire trip even after I'm off the road, I want something that can just keep me energized and not deficient. So this is called a Nature Gel Complete Nutrition Smoothie. It has 22 vitamins and minerals, 13 grams of complete protein, and 18 greens and superfoods. This is mango and banana. Now I will say, just thinking about how this tastes makes my mouth water because it's so sour. It's a pretty thick consistency. It's vegan, there's no dairy, no gluten or soy. I honestly like, all of the nutrition in this makes me not even really mind the consistency and the sourness. I really appreciate, oh my God. I mean, there's just, there's so much in this. Um, it has 13 grams of protein, like I said. Um, all the sugar is just from fruit purees. And I just, I love that it has a vitamin and mineral blend in here. I remember starting my road trip off at the beginning of the day, I was just really just feeling hungry. <laughs> and after I got through this, I just felt less on edge. Definitely helped a lot. <laughs> so I'd recommend these if you're looking for something to get a nice bit of nutrition and with a little bit of fruit sugar. Now this next one I really enjoy. I just tried this for the first time um, in the past couple of days. It's called Yum Butter. It's just some almond butter. It has a nice screw off top, so it's really nice for traveling. Um, I personally am not gonna like eat one of these all at once, so I like that you can just like put it away and you don't have to worry about having a knife or a spoon to like get things out, you can just put it into your mouth or on whatever you're eating. I actually heard of these from my friend Jason Robel, so shout out to Jason. Um, I really love these, I'm definitely gonna continue to buy them. It's a really good source of just fat and protein. I love getting some good fats in, it definitely helps me stay full longer. Now this is something that I feel is clo as close to a meal replacement as I'm gonna get. Uh, this is vegan, gluten-free, no added sugar, it's just a quinoa quick meal so it has a little top part of some artichoke and roasted pepper just quinoa on the bottom uh, it's really nice seven grams of protein 210 calories i'd probably eat like two of these if i'm trying to actually have like a meal <laughs> it's a nice snack by itself but if i can't find a restaurant on the road i'm gonna probably have two of these <laughs> something else that i think is really important if you're traveling is hydrating I really like these Ultima Replenisher electrolyte drink mixes. These are just some really handy little packets. If you're traveling, you can just 
dump it in what, your water bottle. They taste really good, honestly, and there's no sugar in them. Hi, yeah, I'm a huge fan of these. I really like to stay as hydrated as I can so I can not be cranky on the 15th hour of my road trip. <laughs> yeah, so I'd super recommend these too. Now, if you're looking to simplify everything and only buy maybe one product uh, for any sort of travel, I would honestly recommend Huel. So this is similar to Soylent, if you've heard of Soylent. Um, it's a nutritionally complete food, so all you have to do is just mix it with water. You can live off of this, I think, if you actually wanted to. Two scoops of this is 400 calories, um, and oh my god, I mean it just has so much. It's got omega-3s, it has vitamin D, calcium, iron, potassium, it has fucking everything that you would need to survive, to thrive really. Um, so if you if you want to just keep it simple, you could just grab a big bag of this and mix it with water throughout the day and just drink that till you're full. <laughs> but I like to keep it, I like to shake it up. I like to have a nice variety. It keeps me from getting bored and I feel like it does keep me more full too. Something that has always helped me with road trips uh, besides food is just stretching as often as I can, taking as many breaks as I can. Even just jumping up and down to get my lymphatic system flowing again, it can really, can help out a lot. <laughs> Thankfully, many restaurants these days do have vegan and gluten-free options, but if you can't seem to find one on a long road trip, I hope that these tips helped you out. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day.